Sorry, be tried by a special tribunal of judges and MPs. If found guilty, he could be sentenced to life imprisonment. Several hours on their way through, when young East Germans stood on the tracks and desperately tried to clamber aboard. Several were injured in the process, some of them seriously. Rescue work at the collapsed tenement building in Edinburgh has been suspended because of cracks in a neighbouring building. Structural engineers have been called in to give advice. During the night, rescuers found the body of a second victim, a young man in his 20s. 24 hours after the explosion, it's still not known exactly how many people were inside the six-storey building when it collapsed. The comedian Graham Chapman has died at the age of 48. He'd been suffering from cancer. Graham Chapman was one of the founders of the Monty Python team, which broke new ground in television comedy 20 years ago and acquired a large cult following. Three of his Python colleagues were with him in hospital when he died. Fawaz Yunus, a Lebanese militiaman convicted of hijacking a Jordanian airliner in 1985, has been jailed for 30 years in Washington. Yunus was one of five men who stormed the plane at Beirut airport. He's the first person to be convicted under an American law which makes it a crime to attack or hijack U.S. citizens anywhere in the world. Reports from Panama say that 28 people were killed during the abortive coup against General Noriega. The general appears to be using the failed coup to consolidate his position. At a rally in Panama City, he said the head of military intelligence was being held and he claimed to have photographic proof of U.S. involvement in this latest attempt to remove him from power. And that's it for the moment. The next news is at 10 o'clock. A very good morning to you. We're coming into a much more unsettled spell of weather. There'll be some rain for just about all of us today. You can see on the radar picture, most of it at the moment is on the western side. And this is going to push its way eastwards through today, giving two or three hours of rain, eventually getting right across to the southeast coast during the later part of the afternoon. Clearer weather feeding in behind, but look up to the north, yet a lot more rain to come. In that rain, turning a good deal cooler and turning quite windy as well. Well, that's it from me. Bye-bye for now. Thursday night on one. On Top of the Pops, Cher, Curiosity Killed the Cat and Bross. At 7.30, the Queen Vicks polishing up its act for a talent contest. Here, yeah, how's the monologue going, Frank? Oh, I got the first two verses off, Pat. Oh, I didn't know she wrote poems. At 8, a man who's never short of a line or two, Les Dawson. Very, very nice tonight. Rather Spanish, if I may say, isn't it? Like an onion. No. <laughs> At 8.30, it's chocks away when Alf's Wonderlust takes him down under. How important is the mind, Trevor? You meet people, see their way of life, examine their culture, taste their food, catch their diseases. <laughs> After the news, catch this. I love you. <laughs> I want to kiss your cherry lips and nibble your shell-like ears. <laughs> at 10, Crime Watch UK asks for your help in solving a raid at the home of a Derbyshire businessman. And at 10.45 in question time from Labour's Conference at Brighton, my guests will be John Smith, Kenneth Baker, Baroness Sear and Arthur Scargill. With Crime Watch update and Horse of the Year show to finish, this is Thursday Night on One. In just under 25 minutes, we begin our live coverage of today's debates at the Labour Party conference. First on BBC One, John Sachs is here with another round of Four Square. John Sachs, it must be four square. We've got four quarter-finalists so 